to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make a long uh, circle dress i already made a short one on my channel someone was asking me how to make uh, the longer version so for that i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and i'm going to be using six yards of fab um, akara fabric i have my uh scissors tape and the chalk here so and you know this fabric runs as a 47 it doesn't run like the length is not up to 60 inches so for and you know the dress is supposed to be floor length so for that i'm going to just the first thing i'm going to do is to open up the fabric and cut out uh about because you know the length is not too uh long so i'm going to cut from one end to the other end is like 47 inches so i'm just going to cut out two two um two yards of fabric two times right two yards of this fabric i'm going to cut it two times so you know the way it's folded is by one two three as one yard and then it has like a six times the same so i'm going to cut out the first two yards here i'm going to cut out the first two yards if you want you can cut out two yards and one block or if you want you could cut out just two yards but i'm going to be cutting just two yards so i'm going to cut the first two yards keep it aside I, the first thing i did now is to take the the one of the two yards and this is the second two, um, two yards i attached the two of them here so now i have a very long uh two yards of fabric you can see one one yard here one yard here yes and then at the end i also put in another the second two yards so the next thing i'm going to do now is to elongate the side so guys the way the two yards um is folded this is where i joined it right so what i did is to check the length i'm i'm going to be needing for this dress i'm making it for a petite person so the person is not so tall i'm going to um the length i need is about maybe 52 inches for the full length of the dress so i made sure that when i folded it this way when i folded this triangle here like the way the fabric is open this way the two yards is open right so i made sure that when i folded it this way that like because it's this way that i'm going to be cutting it that the full length of the first folding will, the 52 can fit in this way by the length so when i checked it and it could fit in i cut it out so i have about 50 almost 57 here just so that i have more like excess to work with and then this is what i cut out from the end so now this piece that I've cut out from the end, I'm going to take it now and go back again and attach it to one side here. This that way I'm elongating the side, right? I'm going to take it here. I don't want to confuse you, you guys. So this is what I have. So basically, I just check to make sure that the length of the dress I need will fit into these two yards. I first took my six yard, divided it into two yards of uh, two yards three times right and then the first two yards is this here as you can see it's two here right the second two yards here i attached it at the end of the dress and then i checked the length from the beginning to the end and i figured it would be enough for me so i cut out the excess there so the excess that i took out from the end i'm going to go back to the uh i'm going to go back and put it by the side here if that makes any sense i'm going to go back and put it by the side here i can also um pick from the other two yards and also put it at the other end here so the two sides i'm going to elongate the end i'm also going to elongate i've already done the end so now what i need to do is elongate the side too so guys i've finished joining everything that i need to join basically what i did is i got the six yards cut it into three as in two yards two yards two yards so this is the basic the main uh two yards here this one here this square here so this is it here the second two yards i added it at the end here right and then i checked to see from this end of the other two yards to the other end here i checked will this length be enough for me so i cut about 57 inches this way whatever i took out from this end i went ahead and put it by this side 
right? And then from the other two yards that I had left, right? So now two yards, four yards is gone. One at this end, one at, attached uh, at the bottom here. What I had left from this place, I put it by the side here, right? By the side here. And then I cut another part, um, another size of that same one that I took from the end here and then put it double on this side. So one, you see one here and then the other one here. So that's basically it. So I joined about one, two, and then three pieces of fabric here. So after that, you fold the fabric from one end. Make sure that the two ends are equal, right? So I folded mine equally and then from here, I'm just going to flip it this way. So you flip it this way and then now you can start cutting. So now that I've folded it, this is the easy part. The hardest part is just to fold the, uh, get the fabric placed. So um, now this is the easy part. Fold it into two. Fold it, um, after folding it into two, fold it again. You can check my video on how to do uh, where I did the shorter one. The fabric was less so you can understand it better. So now this is what it looks like. I folded it. The first thing you're going to do so guys, after folding the fabric, remember the two rub on the side that you're using, one has all the folded part. This will be your center. Both the center front and the center back are here. And then the, the end, the two ends and one fold will be on this side, the side facing you. So when I, the first thing I'm going to do is to check your bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 35. Divided by 4 is around 8.75. But I'm just going to round it up to 9, right? nine plus extra one inch so that is going to be ten the extra one inch is for my seam allowance right so basically what you're going to do is bust measurement divided by four plus one so i'm working with ten so i'm going to mark it here you just draw a line wherever the ten fits in just check, check put your tape and then check where does my ten or whatever number it is 44 whatever um, 11 12 wherever it fits in is where you're going to start so mine 10 fits in perfectly here i'm going to mark it here and then the next thing you're going to check is the shoulder measurement that's from one end of your shoulder to the other end of your shoulder right um what i have for mine is uh 15 so 15 divided by 2 that's 7.5 so i'm going to mark 7.5 at this point here the next thing you're going to do is from this 7.5 come in by 2 inches, right? Because you don't want your neck, because when you measure your shoulder, remember you start from the very end of your shoulder to the other very end of your shoulder. Let's say this is your shoulder and your neck is somewhere here, your head is here. You measure from this end to this end, right? But when you're making this kind of sleeve, you don't want the sleeve to be at the very end here. You want it somewhere inside of your shoulder. So that's why you come in two inches into your shoulder before your head you so that's why i gave it two inches here so i'm coming in inside so that's the two inches i marked here so at this point of two inches you go up by four inches right you go up by four inches mark it here and then you come here for your neckline you can make it 1.5 if you want it uh higher if you want it even if you want it lower, if you want it higher, you can go by 2 inches. So I'm, I'm making it 1.5. So you check where does 1.5 fit in from this end. It fits in here. I'm going to mark it. If it's 2 inches, then you know that from here, 2 inches fits in up, up here. So mine fits in here. I'm going to mark it here. So from here, you're going to connect it 1.5 to the, this 4 inches here. And then you come down here for your... Uh, armhole you see that's basically it so your the first line you marked is your bust measurement divided by four you can then the next line the next line is your shoulder measurement divided by two come in by two inches go up by four inches and then here it depends on you if you want a lower neckline or a higher neckline you can go 2.2 .2 inches or 1.5 and that's basically it you mark everything so the next thing you're going to do now is the length of your dress so what you're going to do is from this line that you've made here, this straight line that is your bust line that is over. So from this line that you marked here, the next thing you're going to do is to put your tape on this line and then figure out what the length of your dress should be. So I'm using the full length of this here. 
So you're not going to start up here. You're starting on this line. And then from this line, you know how you mark for a circle dress? You just keep marking. You keep marking. You move your tape and keep marking. That's how you're going to mark all over. So I'm going to do mine now. So I'm using the full length of my dress. So that's about 40 something. About 49. But remember, I'm still going to add a strap. And then my, because the full length, when you measure it on the person, is around 56. So, so the, the, um, remember, these four inches you added here is also adding to the length of the dress. And you're also going to at, attach a um, strap. So that's why um, when you check the length here, it might fall into 40 something because you still have some inches here and then the strap will still come in. So I'm going to use everything here. That's 49. So I'm going to mark 49 all over. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead. You can see the uh, chalk marks at the end. I've cut out the end. So I want to show you guys how you cut out the top part here, right? How you're going to do this is just from here, just follow the line and then just cut this way. Go up to these four inches here. Mark, go up this way and then you cut your neckline. So that's basically it. When you open it up, this is what you would have. So you have your front and your back. So this is what it should look like when you're done. So now I'm going to open up the other side here. I'm going to open up this side. It's because I'm going to be putting in pockets for the two sides. So to put in the pocket, basically, so this is the, you see what it looks like here. So this is your neckline. This is the top part of the sleeve. This is what it's, look, it's looking like right now. This will go through your armhole. Then you close up this side. Your um, The pocket is going to come in about 12 inches down. So that's how it's done. This will be my uh, strap. Is about You can use about 11 inches or 12 inches. It depends on you. So this is mine. So I'm going to fold it this way, this way, and then this way and sew it. I'm going to use bias for the neckline of the dress. As I'm done with the dress. I use bias for both the neckline and the armhole. So this is what it looks like right now. So if I pull it off, you would see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.